Welcome back to the channel. If you had been watching, I put out a teaser trailer, I guess you could say, of this box. Uh, just another Beretta box, but is it really? So why don't we take a look at this? I did have uh, a gun for the channel, and this is not provided by anybody else, so just give you a heads up. I want to take a look at this. We'll kind of go through it. We'll do kind of first impressions, and then... Afterwards, you'll see up and coming videos on things we might do differently to it and uh, and most likely a shooting video. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at this. What is in the Beretta box? Well, Beretta has a history of making good metal firearms, at least I believe so, especially Italian made ones. And there have been lots of love and lots of hate towards the 92. And so this is another variation of the 92. This is Breda's, uh, I guess, entry into somewhat of the single action world or the 2011 double stack nine millimeters. And so this is the Beretta 92 XI single action only. And take a look at that. This is their tactical version. It is the 5.1 inch barrel and look at that look at the oil and grease there you go this does have an optics capable top it does not come optics ready because it does not have a plate in here but what do you get you get oh one magazine you get two magazines these are at 18 rounders and it is not loaded of course i would hope it wouldn't come loaded from the factory although it would be nice to get some ammo you have some really tall suppressor height sights just white nothing special there and it is a threaded barrel with a little bit of an o-ring there so it actually takes a little bit to get it off not too bad that looks to be appropriate U.S. threads, I guess you could say. And it, do, it does have kind of a big deal frame-mounted safety instead of, and I don't have my 92G uh, laying around, otherwise I'd pull up against that. But it does have it up down here on the frame instead of up on the slide. And this is single action only, which means... There is no trigger pull, no double action. Does it have half cock and full cock? You can carry it cocked and locked. You can carry it. You can carry it partially cocked and locked. You can carry it hammer down and safety on. It does, I believe, have a firing pin block because that's what. If I'm not mistaken, you gun gurus, you'll probably tell me different, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Comes up as you pull the trigger and allows the firing to happen. If you're in, see that single action and let's pull that trigger. Now this is a really noisy trigger. Can you hear this? You know, kind of small things. It does have a flat face trigger with some grooves, a stippling throughout. Although there is none up here, uh, it is bitey, except for up in there. I feel like maybe it could use some, I don't know. I guess that right there in your webbed hand, it probably doesn't like it. It does have a, is that polymer or metal? It is a metal safety, it appears like. Your extended safety that you can add after the fact. Vertex grip, which means it's straight. It doesn't have the nice hump that the original 92s had. And this is coated like a Cerakote along with the barrel. I'd be interested to see how well that holds up. Safety is, you can change that. Everything else is ambidextrous. So this definitely feels like you could do with the left hand just as easy as the right hand. That's pretty awesome in itself. And as with any Breda, it is probably just as easy to disassemble and maybe not maybe just a little suck no it was just a little little good very oily I haven't done nothing to this very oily from the factory it 
The interestingness on this is this coating. I would hope that that holds up well. I'm assuming I'm going to make a feeling it is not going to. Also, when they drifted that front sight, I don't know, you guys tell me if that's normal. I haven't had a Beretta with a front sight before. That's a little interesting. And then same thing with it here. Never had, there we go, camera. I've never had those markings there. That looks pretty abused. Rear sight does not have any drift marks in it that I can see. But overall, kind of a neat gun. Um, I'm intrigued to get out and shoot it. I do not, it's just kind of a weird sound. Uh, it's, and it also seems like there's a lot of travel there. You see how much travel there is for a single action? Fair amount, there's the wall wall and and then let's look at the reset i guess we won't be able to with this one because it it's gonna there we go and let's look at the reset kind of spongy i don't know if you heard that kind of not very tactile again It's just a weird, needs some, I, I, I'm just going to give it, chalk it up to probably need some rounds downrange. Um, this MSRP is just over $1,000. You can get it well under that. So Palmetto State, other places have it uh, right under $900. Uh, for a $900 gun, does it feel like a $900 gun? Can I say right now, say it does not feel like a $900 gun. And this is only a seven minute video at this point. These grips, although kind of grippy, they, I don't know if they're polymer, they look like they're just polymer, they're not G10. Uh, for what you get here for just shy of $900, uh, would I go for that over my uh, Shadow 2 that I, I got just over $1,000, right at like $1,100 versus that? We'll have to take a look at that in other videos, but I can tell you, way different feel uh, in the hand between the two and I would say that if you were looking for a Beretta you want a single action only uh, I don't know if they're all being made this way this one is an American version uh, it definitely feels light comparatively so I'd have to look into what the frame is actually made of um, let's see if I can look it up quickly for you DLC coated trigger components um half inch by 28 thread and what is it doesn't say quickly what it is made out of but you know you get two magazines these are 92 magazines so you'll be able to put uh made in italy just like the rest of the 92 family magazines probably mechgar magazines be able to put any of the other 92 magazines you currently have which is kind of cool and it gets you into that single action world uh at a fraction of some of the other gun costs. So, guys, stay connected, stay informed. Please uh, take a look at the channel. We're going to make more videos with the 92 single action only comparative to some of the other guns, like the CZ, I believe, is kind of in that category, as well as the 92G that I have laying around. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.